Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about bank feeds and how you can use them to facilitate the download of all your banking transactions. So in Acumatica, if we click on banking, you may know that you can import transactions in Acumatica. If you go into import and you click on the plus button, you can select your bank account. You can click on upload file and you can select any OFX or QBO, QuickBooks Online file, and import your records into Acumatica. So you have that ability currently. Additionally, you can also import any Excel file. We recommend OFX and QBO because they validate. They can detect for duplicates so you don't get yourself into trouble. They know their date ranges and stuff. So you have that ability currently. However, in Acumatica, if we go back to bank feeds, you also have the ability based on your license to create a bank feed. And the license works where I believe at the present time, you can get up to one bank feed with all Acumatica licenses, but please check with your partner. And then if you need to get additional banks, you can purchase more licenses. So if we wanted to add a bank feed here, we would give it an ID, and then you could choose from two different bank networks to find your bank. And you'll find all of the big banks are in both of these networks. But the selection of these may also go into how your data comes in. But there's also some challenges with some banks. With all the cyber crime and the hacking going on, you may have noticed that your banks are doing a lot of multi-factor authentication. Sometimes they're updating, you know, within the same day, you may have to punch in a code that's text to you or some other software that you're using. And these present challenges that you may run into with some of these bank networks because the banks aren't all following the same procedures. Having said that, you shouldn't have any problems with the top bank networks. But still so, if we select played, for example, and we select an import date, maybe we'll select December 1, and we click connect, you can see that played comes up and it gives you some information about what you're gonna be doing next. You're gonna be sharing your data securely and you're always in control. They're not giving your login information uh, to anybody. So we click on continue, and it also says these are the types of financial data you'll share. You can click on it, it'll show you, and then you're accepting their terms of agreement. And now you can search through all the different banks. So as I said before, there's quite a few banks here. Um, these are just the top banks, but if you did a search, you would find uh, there's probably a couple hundred banks in here. But in our test, we're going to select Wells Fargo. So we'll click continue here. And then it's going to ask me to log in. So we'll click on sign on. Click on continue. You may get, again, a multi-factor here where it's going to ask us for a code. So I'll have that code text to me. Then we'll be given the ability to select what accounts we want. We'll scroll down and click continue. We'll accept the terms and conditions. And we'll click continue. And now what happens here is Acumatica brings in the accounts that are available from our connected played account. So you can see the two accounts here. And now what we want to do is we want to select this to our cash account. So this is a savings account, we'll select that here. This is a checking account, we'll select that here. There's some options here, statement period is monthly. We're gonna import transactions from, and it gives us a certain date. Notice it already knows what our statement cycle date is. 
We pulled that in. And you can hit the save button on this. Also notice you can turn on the ability to create expense receipts. So for example, when you import these transactions into your bank, by turning this on, these particular accounts, you'll be able to create expense receipts directly from the transactions. This is very useful for credit card type accounts. You can use this for credit cards as well. When you're looking up your bank accounts under Plate or MX, you'll find, for example, Chase Credit Card and American Express. But when you get these transactions, you can automatically create expense receipts based on the cardholder in Acumatica, which we show in another video. Based on that cardholder, the expense receipt can be created directly for that employee. So that can be very useful. Now, when we go back over to banking, we can go right to process bank transactions. We don't need to go to import. So we'll click on that and we can go to all records. And if we go into, for example, our checking account, we now have the ability to click on retrieve transactions. And now using process bank transactions, take a look at our other video where you can start to go through, you can match it to invoices to automatically generate the payment. Or you can create payment, which essentially creates a cash transaction, which allows you to select an entry type. And with that entry type, you can select different GL accounts. Essentially, the entry types are aliases for expense and income accounts, or any account, actually, that you'd like. And when you select it, this is a receipt, so it's showing all receipt entry types. But when you select it, you can even override the GL account if you want to. Now, one last thing I want to show you is MX. It's very similar. We'll go to bank feeds. We'll try and create a new one. We'll select MX in this case. We'll pick a start date. Click connect. And you'll notice the screen is a little bit different, less uh, agreements and those kinds of things, but essentially it's the same thing. We're looking at all of the MX type banks. We click on Wells Fargo. You're brought to a different type of screen instead of a pop-up. But essentially it's the same thing when it's all said and done you'll be listed the accounts with your bank here and you'll be able to link them to your cash account. The one thing I noticed about MX is it seems to bring in all transaction data in uppercase. So that might be a preference. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Uh, but that is definitely something I noticed between Plaid and MX. One last thing here, if we go to retrieve bank transactions, this is a screen that allows you to see all of your different bank feeds. You can click on them and select them. Click process. You can process all of them. Or you can schedule. And what are we doing? Well, we're retrieving the, we're downloading the bank transactions from the screen. Instead of having to do it at every single bank and going in screen by screen, you can do it in more of a mass process screen or even schedule it, have it happen at maybe three o'clock in the morning, get all your transactions live so that you can work on them throughout the day. So thanks so much for watching this video on bank fees. If you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and for subscribing. Have a great day.